Did you know that over 300 million people worldwide live with an anxiety disorder? This causes them to behave in a way that reflects an internal cycle of restlessness, which others can dismiss as simple overreaction or being sensitive. Let's identify six common statements that people with anxiety say so we can further understand and empathize with their experiences. Oh, I'm just being paranoid. How often have you downplayed your anxiety just to avoid bothering others? Having anxiety can not only cause physical symptoms, but social ones as well. You may feel the need to stay silent about what you're going through because you think that no one will understand. This can lead to high-functioning anxiety. High-functioning anxiety is when a person remains fully functional and usually successful despite struggling with anxious feelings and thoughts. It's not an anxiety disorder recognized by the DSM-5, but is just a term used to describe the state. Although high-functioning anxiety sounds harmless, it can deteriorate your mental health over time. Everyone's looking at me. Social anxiety is when you have an intense fear of being in social situations to the point where you continuously avoid them. It is a common type of anxiety disorder and it's not the same as shyness and it certainly cannot be solved by the simple get out of your shell advice. Social anxiety is a mental health condition that can worsen over time. Social anxiety disorder is one of the most prominent psychological conditions it is prevalent among women, and the cases of people having the disorder continue to increase at high rates globally. I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. A quick internet search shows that a lot of people are worried about whether they're having an anxiety attack or a heart attack. This is because both their symptoms can be quite similar. Both conditions can be accompanied by shortness of breath, tightness in the chest, sweating, a pounding heartbeat, dizziness, and even physical weakness or temporary paralysis. Due to this, people might rush to the ER out of panic. If you're uncertain about seeking hospital assistance during an attack, it's more advisable to go for help. I'll do it tomorrow. Have you ever been stressed out about a task and decided to put it off to watch Netflix? But now you're stressed while watching Netflix. Continuous procrastination may not be a time management issue, but a work of anxiety. Studies show that 20 to 25% of adults worldwide are chronic procrastinators. And this issue is linked to depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, ADHD, and poor study habits. Having anxiety can make simple decisions difficult. You may worry about when to begin a task, how to do it, or even what task to start with. The idea of doing a project can become so intimidating that you end up putting it off instead. Before we continue, please hit the like button to show your support. I think something bad is going to happen. A lot of people say to trust your instincts, but do you have a hard time doing that because it often leads to unnecessary worry and even paranoia? Having anxiety can make you prone to and be upset by paranoid thoughts. This is because you're more on edge and accustomed to negatively interpreting things. To minimize the chances of paranoia, remember to take care of your daily needs and challenge your paranoid thoughts. I'm so overwhelmed. Work, school, kids, chores, love, money, future. How often have you felt bombarded by your thoughts that you don't even know what to do anymore? People with unmanaged anxiety are prone to having nervous breakdowns. The combination of pressure, stress, worries, and triggering events can cause a mental breaking point where you're not able to function well. During a difficult time, remember that it too will pass. We know it's difficult and we know that giving advice is easier than actually doing it. But see how strong you are for getting through everything and being here. You are a fighter just by living. Did you relate to any of these points? Let us know below. Living with anxiety can negatively impact you in many ways. Please don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare provider for help. You can also click on the different levels of anxiety to know more. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Remember, you matter.